<laughs> okay, kids, let's calm down. We've got to do roll call. What? Windows 95 wallpaper? Here. What the fuck? Here. What is wrong with your names? Our top news story today, names. They're getting weirder. In this small town, more and more bizarre names are popping up every day. It's widely believed this strange trend is due to a change in policy in the only hospital in town, wherein the mayor of the city gets to name every single child delivered. We asked the mayor about this strange policy, and he had this to say. What I am doing is perfectly legal and moral at that. We, we would like to name her Sarah. Yeah, well, her name is Cuntface. You can't name a baby Cuntface. Well, it seems I just did. He just had that ready under his desk. This policy has been criticized by many. We interviewed this man on the street. Dang, now, but I can't even pronounce my boy's name. There's like 50 Q's in there. It's an epidemic. I thought that he was done, but no. He won't be content until every John is a jungle battery 8,000 and every Janine is a jarble garble whatever bullshit he comes with next. I can't take this anymore! I must put a stop to this once and for all, for the continued existence of names that aren't really fucking stupid! Mayor, sir, there's a man hurtling towards your office with intent in his eyes and a gun in his hand. Well, what do I do? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the tenth one this week. Yeah. I'll do that. Damn, so close. Speak to the mayor. Number one is here. He wants to talk. I always knew this day would come. Let him through. Come in. Ah, my old friend. How have you been faring? YOU RUINED MY LIFE! Who is going to be friends with actual rapist? Who is going to hire actual rapist? Who is going to date actual rapist? NOBODY! YOU FUCKED ME FROM THE START! It is kinda funny though. You know what's really funny? I got proof of your real name. Ha! <laughs> That's positively impossible! My birth certificate is under extremely strict supervision. What the fuck?! Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Your name is a nonsensical compound of history's greatest monsters! So, uh, your resume's looking very good. It'll be a pleasure working with you, Mr. Uh... Oh... Never mind. No! 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 Son, what are you doing? You've destroyed my one-of-a-kind!
Mine Collector's Edition Scooby-Doo, where are you, Urn? Your granny's leaking all over the floor! I'm sorry, Dad. That's it! Down to the name-changing office! No, you can't let that get out! Too bad! This is getting leaked to everyone! No! And also, I have a gun? No, again! I can't shoot you. Because the safety's on. And so it was over. The mayor's decades-long, wacky, spite-fueled reign of terror was put to an abrupt end by one man wielding a poorly drawn handgun. And now, it is up to the residents of this accursed town to rebuild. A bad man, not a sad man. A mayor's rise to power from the gutter to the streets. A small town is going down. Eels were God's mistake when he was on bath salts. He stabbed the backs, the backs, through the cracks. Got us a count for that, the swaggy house to match. He gained control, he gained control. The naming roll, the naming roll. He gave kids stupid fucking names like Goon, Lad, Dumborg, and Baby Morg, Cheeto Park, they love Lord Mark. He bought Stonehenge, he bought Stonehenge, to avenge. The first baby in name comes back for revenge. Election win, election win. My turtle spin, my turtle spin. Power and the glory to his next off kid. 